trick or treat down Broadway. With the exorcist Linda Blair now strutting her stuff as Rizzo in Greece. possessed little girl in The Exorcist, Linda Blair, has secured her place in the Halloween Hall of Fame. Meow, but that little girl is all grown up now. She's exorcised her demons and has been reincarnated as a pink lady in Broadway's smash musical, Grace. <laughs> A Rizzo to be reckoned with, direct from the Eugene O'Neill Theater, Linda Blair. Yeah! When Halloween comes, you're an institution. Oh, yes. You are. We all think your head's just a I know. Turn spin that head, head, baby. Spin that head. Well, no, see, that's why I have the scarf on. Because it's, I've got a little, you know, a little problem with it. Mm -hmm. Are you? Oh, yes. Uh, no, no, it's just the head keeps spinning, and I just got to control it, you know. Does it amaze you what an impact The Exorcist made on pop culture? And does to this day? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's 24 years later, and people still, when they see me, they have an instant memory of where, they're, where they were, uh, who they were with, you know, and so to be part of that, somebody's memory like that, is really something. Well, you're actually going to have a bigger impact or a different impact this time as Rizzo. Now, you're playing the fast girl of Rydell High. Oh, absolutely. You go, Miss <laughs> oh, go. I'm having the time of my life. I mean, I never would have thought that I would have been singing and dancing on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I think I like you. <laughs> but, I, you know, I always thought maybe do something dramatic or, or a comedy or something. But I never thought that I would be having this much well, fun. Well, hey, Well, why this one? Hey, <laughs> Sandy. Looking good, girlfriend. Yeah, Sandy, after I joined the Pink Ladies. Any mm -hmm. advice? Any advice? You just, you just stay hot like that, babe. You go, girl. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> now, I, you? I re you're not really uh, into guys like Rizzo is, are you? You really like animals more than guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, what We're exactly where we're going. Lords <laughs> 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 and cats losing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds a little. Well, that's that was a little risky, wasn't it? <laughs> Linda, she loves, loves animals. animals. Yeah. I do. I have um, um, I, I love a great passion Ooh. for animals and, and children, and uh, so. But I have a calendar out called Animals and a shot? Celebrity. For pet That's theft so awareness, great. and it is to protect animals from being stolen and uh, sold into medical it. research. Uh -huh. So here's oh, my calendar wonderful. that I produced. Yes. Who's the doggy in the front? That was was my dog Peanut. Aww. Peanut. Yeah, I know. Peanut's <laughs> no more. Peanut, no, no. Is he buried in your backyard? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> she's, she's, I, she's actually she's in so a. Yeah, she's in an urn. Really? Urge. I don't think it's 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 real. Real. Now this is how. You know, I was watching them stories. perform this morning, and I, I tell you what, I get out on that stage sometimes, and I sit there and just go, oh my gosh, I like to spectate. I'm the one that gets into watching the, the performers are so great on Broadway. It really is very, very exciting. I mean, look at you all dressed up. Oh, it's the most mm -hmm. thrilling thing. And I think that took the time to help us out, too. It was so nice mm -hmm. of these shows to come out and let us dress in their costumes. Because they're really taking a chance that we're going to make them look stupid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. But it's really a lot of work to be a musical, isn't it? It's a lot of work. Oh, mercy. Yeah. I can't believe. It's, How many shows like a week do you do? It's class every day. How many shows a week do you do? We do eight. Wow. We do it's a double, lot. double weekends, mm -hmm. yeah. Two on Sunday, is that what it is? Two Saturday, two Sunday, oh, two yes. You do come you in and you just... You're running around the stage and you're singing and dancing and having a great time and the audience is here. There's nothing like it, though. Mm -hmm. There's just, just nothing like it. And did you even know that you could sing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you wonder, yeah. like, you know, you're thrown... You, I, I sing in the shower, so I just bring the yeah. shower me on stage. 
<laughs> I am surrounded by the best cast. I mean, the guys are great and the, the, the girls are great. So I just sort of move along with them. And Rizzo doesn't have to be the very best singer, but no. she has a lot of personality. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you could vomit for us one good time, yeah, it would be a great <laughs> If you could get the Valley. audience. Well, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do, right what I can do <laughs> for you. I'll walk along. You could spit at least. Rizzo would spit, wouldn't she? No. No, Rizzo wouldn't spit. Rizzo's a little bit of a lady. I love Rizzo. Do you do you ever watch The Exorcist? Do you do you have a tape of it? Do you ever watch it? And so wow, I, I d actually don't, and I'm always amazed when I see a clip from it. It it really mm -hmm. is um, it is an amazing piece of work, and I always say, you know, you have to remember, I was 13 years old, and uh, Billy Friedkin directed the film, William Peter Blatty wrote the film. I said I was just part of it, and I did what I was told to do, and I didn't uh, really understand anything that was going on at the time, which was a wonderful protection, a wonderful safety net. For me. That was, so you didn't appreciate how scary it was? Oh, I didn't. I really didn't understand it for a long time. Um, you guys... I was too too close to it, and I removed myself in, in such a way. So I was actually the only lucky person because I was the only one that wasn't afraid because everyone was afraid of me. That's right. Because <laughs> you were demonic, baby. But then we oh, were yeah. You, you give us one? Go there. <laughs> you spoke Greek in it when the priest came, and that's what threw me because I spoke Greek. That was the first scary movie really? like that really... I can't watch it to this day because I'm so scared still. And and it has had an effect on everybody um, around the world, no matter where it goes. Linda, can you say sweat. Happy Halloween in that voice? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh. Where would you like me to say <laughs> Happy Halloween, America. <laughs> Deborah Gibson sings home from Beauty and the Beast.